Okay, here is a typical example of trying to find the test statistic in hypothesis testing. In this case, we identify our claim very easily because they give it to us, right? Uh, three fourths of all adults believe something. In this case, it's important to be involved in their communities. So right then, you should be thinking that this is a proportion question. We're dealing with uh, P's, right? Three-fourths. So our claim, if we want to write it in symbols, which we should, is that P equals 0.75. That's our claim. Then we go off and we sample, right? So our sample size 1021 and in our sample we get 89 percent that believe it's important so that's our p hat right that's our proportion from our sample so x our number of successes is just p hat times n and if we do the math in this case we get 1021 times 0.89 which gives us 908.69. So is this our answer? No. We always have to round x to a whole number. So x equals 909. Because you can't have 0.69 of a person. Okay, now we have all the information we need in order to answer whatever they're going to ask of us. And for this particular question, they just simply said, uh, find the value of the test statistic. So are we going to be looking for a T or a Z? All right? Which one are we doing in this case? Well, since we're dealing with P's, proportions, we're doing Z's. So the uh, formula for our test statistic is very simply p hat minus p all over the square root of the standard deviation, which in this case is pq over n. So we can plug all these things in, 0 0.8. 9 minus 0.75 all over the square root of 0 0.75 all right times 0 0.25 all over 1021 or we can use our fancy calculators and go to stat tests because we're running hypothesis tests and this is a one proportion z test we just have to fill it in with all the information the p0 that means that's your hypothesized p that's the p we're testing against so in this case that's 0.75 X is simply just our number of successes. N, sample size. Then down here we have to choose um, what are we testing, right? Are we either, is our null hypothesis that it's not equal to this, that it's less than, that it's greater than? Does anywhere in this question suggest anything about a one-tailed test? Does it say anything about we think it's more than this or less than that? No. The only information we have is the claim that it's equal to three-fourths, so we just have to set the uh, alternative that it's not equal to. So then we tell it to calculate, and that's what we get. So that's going to be our t test statistic right here, 10.35. This is our p. This e to the negative 25 means it's super small. Here's my p hat of 0.89, right, which I already had, and then the n. So for this question, they just wanted the um, 
the z, right? They wanted the test statistic of 10.35. Um, if they had asked for us to write the null and alternative, here's our null, p equals 0.75. Here's our alternative, p not equal to 0.75, because there was nothing specifically that told us we should be doing a one-tailed on either greater or less than, so we're just going to default to that. Um, this is our test statistic. Our p-value, remember our p-value is not our p, it's not our p-hat, it's the associated probability that comes from getting a test statistic this large. And we had that thing that was to the negative 35. It was super, super small. So whenever it's super, super small, we normally just do this. One, two, three, one. And we say uh, P is less than this. Sorry, it should be less than. So we just mean that it's really, really, really small. It's too small to write all the zeros. Um, and then the only other thing they could ask us is, um, you know, what's our conclusion? So if the P is low, all right, the null must go, so reject the null, and then we could write something up uh, in complete sentences describing what's going on, right? That uh, there is not sufficient evidence to support our claim. So there is not sufficient evidence to support our claim that uh, 3 fourths of all adults, you know, blah, 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 blah. You get the idea. Bring this back up here so you can see it. So that is a uh, very basic, typical um, hypothesis testing question, in this case involving proportions.